the Joe Rogan experience. Hey, what? we're no different. Yeah, World War Two. Right now, we've been chilling for a while. Yeah, and all of a sudden, there's some. Well, how long do we chill for? Up to Vietnam, we ch- that barely counts. Be- what? Compared to World War Two, right? But so there, there's completely like completely th- unnecessary. Whereas totally World War Two was necessary because of an unnecessary start. What was the unnecessary start of World War Two? Hitler taking everything. Yeah, but like it, a lot of it is based on what happened World in World War One. War I, yes. Right? Yes. So World War One. One and two are pretty. There, uh, everything in history is interlinked. Yeah, obviously. and there's not that much time in between them either. Yeah. So there's like a there's regrouping nothing. of Germany, and then we'll fucking show you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was is, World War One over? That's the ultimate dumbest fucking one ever. What is it over? Uh. Austria, Archduke Franz Ferdinand got assassinated in Serbia. That's right. And then and Serbia, the guy Lucky ran into yeah, yeah, him outside yeah. of a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I tried to kill him, didn't. And then his car was parked outside of a restaurant. He's like, oh. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Yeah. And then uh, their ally was, Serbia's ally was Russia. Austria's ally was Germany. Germany was like, we're going to help Austria. That's hmm. why they got blamed. Wow. And then the whole world. And then the whole world, which they were all cousins. Why were they? Why they assassinate that dude? <laughs> uh, because Austria and Serbia, I guess, had a pretty long history of fighting each other, and he was in Serbia. Montenegro was it? And he, it was kind of like flaunting it a little. Oh, it was right. kind of like you shouldn't be here. Like Although, when Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of just like, yeah, I'm. What? I can handle it. Yeah. What? What you gonna do, John? I could be wrong though. I think it was like uh, Franz Ferdinand was actually like one of the guys in Austria that liked Serbia, and he was one of the guys like helping it. He was like an advocate for it. Mm. And then uh, the Black Hand, and I'm forgetting his fucking name. He's very important. The guy who shot him. Mm. Oh, I don't remember his name either. It's embarrassing. I don't remember it. And I hope it's Serbia. I just am talking. I think it <laughs> is. Yeah, he was from the kingdom of Serbia. This isn't the thing I was looking at. Didn't have his name. Uh, this doesn't either. We're so bummed. what happens in Germany during World War One? So World War One was over nothing. They fought. Everybody died. Like millions died. of people died. Yeah. Over and a lot of times it's just trench warfare where they, over the course of four or five years, they gained nothing, lost nothing. Oh. So at the end of the war, like. When France and Germany and England had to sign this treaty, they were like, like the allies that won were like, oh, we got to make, we got to gain something out of this because otherwise our people are going to kill us. When we signed this treaty and neither of us, nothing changed. And that was all for literally for nothing. So then they, they just blamed Germany for everything. They were like, you guys, you owe France reparations. Gavrilo Princep. God, I'm so good. He was 19 years old. Fucked up the whole world. Wow. Good job, Gravilla. One teenager. Yeah. Can you imagine? Imagine being <laughs> one person and so many things happen because of one thing that you yeah. do. A 19 year old. Yeah. Like, imagine being the CEO of Bud Light. <laughs> imagine being that lady. It's not the CEO, right? What was she like? No. Marketing. Yeah, that was just head the of marketing. marketing. Yeah, imagine being that lady. Like, Wake well, up in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> shit. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I don't know how I comparable mean, that is to Gorilla Prince. In the business world, business world, that was World War One. It's World War One. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know. They didn't know the capabilities of the weapons. Right. Just like yeah. Nobody had figured out gas. World yet. War One was doing. Nobody figured doing, out Kid Rock shooting your product. They were doing. <laughs> They were doing cavalry charges into machine guns. That other picture of me looked pretty handsome. Go to that picture. Imagine that guy shoots you. You're like, shit. <laughs> Fucking guy. Great cheekbones. You ever see Young Stalin? He looks like uh, Scott Eastwood. Young Stalin was a babe. Was he? Yeah. Criminal penalty. 20 years imprisonment. He died three years later. Yeah, he died. Later. Wow. And that motherfucker started it all off. Damn, he was, a, he was alive, though, for three years to witness what he did. <sighs> That's a tough way. Yeah. I wonder if he connected them all. Clearly. He had. Yeah. To. Clearly. That started it. Yeah. I bet there's a lot of bragging in the showers. <laughs> you know what I did, motherfucker? I killed everyone. I got everybody <laughs> yeah. killed. 
One of my favorite stories from World War One that I've talked about too much is that the Russians and the Germans had a ceasefire to kill wolves. That's awesome. Yeah, they had, I they didn't were, know about that. They were in Russia, and so many of them were getting killed by wolves that they decided to have a ceasefire. Mm. They, they negotiated a ceasefire to kill wolves. Cause That's you, terrifying. They, imagine if you're at trench warfare, and you get shot, and you're screaming, and you're in agony. And then, and then all a of a dog sudden, eats you. Eat you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 30 wolves tearing your friend apart. And you, there's nothing you could do. You jump up, people shoot you. Yeah. That's, uh, and then the wolves just get into the trenches. World War One seems like the worst. Bro. Seems like one of the... Just look at what probably they were the worst. dressed like. Yeah. How did they survive the elements? I don't know. They had stupid shoes. They didn't. Their shoes were yeah. so stupid. They had yeah. like shoes that you would wear if you're like walking down the street. Yeah. And they're out in the woods. And they're in the mud for months at a time. Yeah. What is, show us what they were dressed like. Their boots were stupid. Like, everything was stupid. <laughs> There's no no waterproofing. <laughs> There's no nothing. There's no tactical gear. You had nothing. You had fucking cotton shirts That's what on. Hitler, Hitler did to his boys. The guys that went into Russia. He oh, was like, yeah. we're going to be done by, we don't even need to make winter uniforms for yeah. these guys. With le- leather soled shoes, they didn't even have like textured shoe soles yeah. back then. Just guys having fun. Just a good time. Trench warfare. It ain't nothing but a day. These fucking guys, man. Imagine, imagine that life. That dude is taking a nap there, just living in hell. They got some cool art that came out of this from these guys getting fucked up. You ever see auto, auto dicks? No. Get some auto dicks. Going, go back dude. to that photo again, please. Uh, that photo you just had of those guys. Wow, are these are these doughboys? What are these? These Americans. These boys? are Americans. Look at their little fucking outfits. Imagine being stuck over there, going, "What the fuck are we here that's for?" Gas mask around their neck, right? Yep, mm-hmm. yep. That's when they first started using gas. Fuck, man. You what ever a, see? What a horrific time. Have you seen All Quiet on the Western Front? Yes, I I love it. Oh no! Wait a minute, I haven't. Oh, no, that's the new one, right? Yes, you gotta no, watch that. No, I haven't. You I've gotta watch amazing. that. It's so good. I got, you it's told so me about good. it multiple times. I love it. I get bummed out when I watch war it's movies. It's the most depressing one I've seen in a while. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. It's I always so say depressing. I'm gonna do it when I'm like sitting in front of the TV. Yeah. But when I'm sitting in front of the TV, most of the time I just like to be entertained. I just just show me. I want to watch. You gotta watch or, that one. I get really depressed. It's bad. Dude, I get anxiety sometimes in the middle of the night when everyone's asleep. I get anxiety thinking about the wars. Yeah, Auto the Dix has some good ones. Artists. He Auto got Dicks. He got fucked up from that war. And this is all his work? Oh, yeah. my God. Everybody's all bullet holed and patched together. Oh, wow. So he was a soldier? Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's German. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> These are horrific. Yeah, what did that guy see? Oh, you ever see? All right, this is a. I don't know how good this is for podcasting, but you got to look at Goya. Oh. Look at Goya. Look at his. uh, Have we ever talked about this on here? The gas masks are crazy. Gas masks are scary. Because that's the first time they ever experienced gas attacks. Goya. That was actually the. Those are the Napoleonic Wars. He was a Spanish guy. Look at all those bodies. But then he got dark, dude. He got into the. Some scary oh, geez, stuff. Some Satan shit. Yeah. Allegedly, his last paintings were. Whoa. So they're called the black paintings. Bro, can you imagine being alive the first time they start using gas? No, that would be a bummer. Like they just got giant fans yeah. and they're spraying deadly gas towards you. Oh God! Look at his stuff, that's, man. Oh, oh my that's God! Not Goya. Yeah, it says it is. Francisco is it? Goya. No, he did Saturn. He Birth of Saturn's his... sun painting. Oh. God, look at that. That's horrifying. He's eating a baby? He did Sa- uh, Saturn devouring his son. Well, I think that's what's happening right that's there. That's not the real one. a different one? one? Yeah. That's the one. Oh, <laughs> Way God. Worse. Oh, my God. Jamie, go to that one, the, the bigger one, in the left-hand corner. Right, left-hand corner of, of that. Right, like, keep going. I that I no, 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 no. Back. The one below it to the left. That's it. That go to that one right there. Look at that. That's so horrifying. Man. Yeah, Goya has some cool. Eating ones. a baby. What the fuck, man? 
And that's like a valuable painting. Like someone could have that in their home. Oh, Look, that's this is a Goya. It's worth five. No, that painting's billion yeah. dollars. Yeah. How much is that worth? Uh, that Goya. Uh, did you say it's called the official name like Death of Saturn Eden. devouring his son. A lot of Satan, child. Satanist money out there. I think that was in. Uh, what's that movie uh, about? Greed is good. What's that called? Wall Street. Wall Street. Oh, we had so a Goya. Dumb. Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> the easiest. No, so it's about Wall, the, real, the original Wall Street, uh, not Wolf Walls. The original one. Greed is Wall good. Wall Street. I think he had that in his office. My favorite scene in that movie is Michael Douglas walking down the beach with that brick phone, like he was a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> those brick phones yeah. were the shit back then. Oh my God, he's talking to someone. This says his most valuable work was sold for 7.5 and that one would be much more valuable wow it's more valuable why don't they sell it maybe they don't got want it to sell at the, it. Remember, want, imagine wanting that in your house i've i have some goyas do you yeah for real yeah i got the he goat talking and prince uh, prince. Yeah, prince prince yeah i'm like what do you no do no <laughs> yeah 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 no, i have 48 million dollars worth of <laughs> killian <art>. keeps <laughs> yeah, yeah. movie to buy keeps money <laughs> uh i oh saw those God, the, creepy. there's a museum I forget it was Sofia Reina maybe in Madrid, and I was at it, and they have what's called his dark paintings or the black paintings, I forget. But apparently Goya lost his mind, and all these paintings were from in his own house on the walls. Like, that was painted, that wasn't on a canvas. That was on his wall Whoa. that he did by himself. He lost his mind. He would paint at night with candles on his head. Oh, my God. Like a God. chandelier of candles on his head. Oh, my he God. painted satanic shit. Now that's, I think they've said that this Whoa. was a legend, but I'm not sure. Whoa. Yeah. I want to believe it. It's awesome. Yeah, you I see those paintings, that. you're like, holy, it's like it a, seems like a, guy a would goat be, talking to witches. You're like, holy A guy shit. eating a baby? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. That seems like something someone who would have a fucking candle can, yeah, chandelier yeah, yeah. on their head. Yeah, he, it sounds, it, he was 72 and he moved into the house. Whoa. Uh, some guy took all hacked when he quotes hacked off all of the murals from the wall and attached them to canvas and they're now on that museum. Yeah. Wow. So and he, he sawed them off the wall. He was Whoa. he saw that'd be even more valuable. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. A chunk of his wall too. Imagine walking into that house. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what was going on? One of on the greatest in artists. His mind. Well he saw the he saw like War horrors. Yeah, he saw fucked up. War. The most close combat, yeah, bullet type type war you could get into. Trench warfare. No, Guys no, no. This is this and... is Napoleonic wars. Oh, that's right. This is old Spain where he oh, saw, saw like swords and shit. He saw like and like atrocities. 